Hi, Pat Ziemer here with MagnaWave. What I'd like to do in this video is go over the operation procedures for the MagnaWave Semi devices. As you know, the Semi comes in two cases, the tabletop case and the more durable and, and protective traveler case that's designed to protect the unit from the elements. Both machines can be used in a home environment or a clinic environment or however you would like to use them in that regard. Each machine has a single receptacle to plug in the attachments that you're going to be using. Here it is on the tabletop and on the traveler, it's in the lower right hand corner. The main power source for the devices is in the, on the traveler is on the lower left hand corner and on the tabletop machine, it is at the back of the device uh, where you plug in the primary power. Outside of that, both machines have three different controls, low, medium, and high. And as you know, that you receive two signals at the same time with, with this machine. A low signal that is said to be more conducive to healing, and then a higher signal that is said to be more conducive to the inflammation reduction and pain relieving process. Both signals are very efficient for the healing process. So you're just getting both uh, double whammy at the same time. Now the way to operate it is you take your individual attachment, you plug it in, you want to plug it in until you hear a click. Once you hear that click, that's telling you that everything is in place and you're ready to go. When you turn the machine on, you'll see a single flash here on the medium button telling you that you're up and ready to go as far as the power is concerned. So at that point, you're ready to select low, medium, or high. So I've got an actuator here that I'm going to show you so you'll hear both signals at the same time. On the high signal, you've got the background signal plus the higher, more intense signal. You want to go to medium, you can go to medium there. Now you'll notice that the intense signal is a little faster and then you still have the background signal delivering a very background low signal for the healing process. You go to low and you've got a very similar type of situation. Just everything's a little less at that point in time. Now what does that mean? Many people will use the device on high all the time. Others, depending on maybe you're treating a very small animal or you're treating someone who's never been treated before, you may want to use the medium setting so they get comfortable with the machine, they know what's going on, and then away they go. You may use the low signal, let's say you wanted to use the back mat, put it on the back, and then turn it on for maybe 30 or 40 minutes where you don't really hear anything, but you're getting the effects of the higher intensity for inflammation reduction and the lower si signal for healing production. So that's how the three different signals work. You'll find that you'll have particular instances where you want to be on low, particular instances when you want to be on high. It's just the kind of thing that you get comfortable with. The more you use it, the more you'll know where you want to have it set for your particular use. Now as far as fans, no fans are required on these devices. All the cooling takes place on the face plate and in the cabinet or in the case that the machine's in. So what that means is virtually maintenance free. You don't have to worry about cleaning out the inside of the machine periodically like we do on our bigger machines, the Maya and the Max. So virtually maintenance free, they self cooling, plug it in, hit the button and go. That's the ease of operation with these devices when it comes to using them. You do want to make sure that the plug is good and secure and that you have everything turned on. I advise that if you're going to change attachments, turn the machine off, unplug, put your new attachment in, make sure it's ready to go, then turn your machine back on and choose the setting that you want to have for best operation. Simple ease of operation with the MagnaWave Semi devices. If you've got other questions with regard to protocols, business services, whatever it may be, please give us a call. We want to make sure that you're getting the most value and the best use of your MagnaWave Semi devices. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps.